previous this, we will be uh, speaking about the next experiment of uh, six semester electronics lab. The next experiment that we will be doing here is speed control of separately excited DC motor uh, using IGBT or MOSFET choppers. Okay. So here in uh, this separately excited, we have used a DC shunt motor. The rating of this shunt motor is 220 volts and the speed 1500 rpm. Okay. So this is the circuit. This is the circuit for the DC motor uh, chopper circuit, as you can see here. So here, in place of this MOSFET, in place of this MOSFET, we are going to use IGBT. Okay. So MOSFET terminals are gate, drain, and source. Since we are going to use IGBT, the terminals of IGBT will be collector, emitter, and gate. Okay. So for this, the circuit is like this. We are having the separate a decision motor. Okay. And then we are having the supply here. The supply is connected. These are the 30 volts, 30 volts to independent sources, but we have shorted it in series. So 30 plus 30, total of 60 volts. And here, it, since it is a separately excited DC motor, what does it mean? That means we are going to give uh, the field windings. Okay, F and FF or Z and ZZ by whatever you can call. We are going to give the field windings a separate supply. This supply is this one, which we are giving a separate excitation for which we are giving a separate excitation of 150 volts. Okay, so these are the components that we are that you have to use. And here, this is the motor terminals. Here in the motor terminals, you can see here that there are four terminals: A and AA, F and FF. Okay, these are the four terminals: A and AA, F and FF. And accordingly, the circuit is done in this manner. In which instead of MOSFET we are using an IGBT switch. Okay, so here first initially what we have to do is it is a chopper circuit. So in chopper circuit we are having what is called as a chopper firing module. Okay, so in this chopper firing module you will be going to vary the duty cycle and hence you will be going to take a variation in the speed of the DC motor and as well as voltage across A and B. So what happens when the duty cycle is varied from 0% to 100%? Okay, so that is the, uh, the experiment that we will be seeing. So here, first what we do is, we give the field excitation. As I told you that, it is 150 volts. 150 volts of excitation to F and FF we give, separately excited DC motor. And then we switch on the supply of 30 plus 30, that is 60 volts. We give the supply towards A and A. Okay, then we switch on the chopper firing uh, circuit. We switch on the chopper firing circuit. As you can see there, the chopper firing circuit, as soon as you switch on, it settles down to a duty cycle of 0%. Okay, now you have to vary this duty cycle 0% to 100%. 0% to 100%. So when you do that, you can uh, similarly observe at the same time as the duty cycle goes on increases, what happens to the speed and what happens to the output voltage and what happens to the waveform. So how it, uh, how it is going to change. So as we are doing that, you can have your own inference and comments on that. And after we see the waveform, how it is going to change, we will uh, give the final inference that what is happening when the duty cycle is varying. Okay. So first, we start with 0% duty cycle, go on increasing the duty cycle. We kept the duty cycle at 30%, uh, okay. Then here, you can see the waveform here. This is the on time and this is the off time of the square wave. Okay, on time and off time. As you can see, because of the inductance effect, you can see the spike in the waveform. And here, as we go on increasing, now this is the first duty cycle, wherein the one full, if you consider one full uh, time, total time period T, which is equal to T on plus T off, you can also check, according to the chopper firing, we have kept it as 30%. You want to check, then you can check that, what is the total time period for the uh, total time period here, including T on plus T off. So the total time period is approximately equal to Okay, approximately equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, around 4.8 divisions. Okay, in this you can check what is the T on division. So T on division is approximately equal to 1.6. So 1.6 divided by 4.8, what is the percent you are getting? You can check if it has come to around 30% of the duty cycle. So first you can record this. Then you can record the voltage. It is showing about 40 volts. 
Okay, the clock's getting delayed. The voltage is about 40 volts. It is showing for a 20 cycle of 30 percent. So at this instant, the speed is showing about 300 RPM. Okay, so this is the uh, reading. Now we increase the duty cycle. Okay, we make it at about 60 percent of the duty cycle. So we have increased the duty cycle, it is about 60%. So now you can see that compared to the previous reading, here you can see the D on time has increased now. So this is a chopper firing module wherein the total time is constant. Every time you have to take the total time T which is equal to D on plus T off, approximately equal to, as I told previously, approximately equal to 4 divisions or 4.8 divisions. Okay. So here in that, now the D on time has increased. Previously it was 1.6 divisions for 30% duty cycle. Now for 60% duty cycle it is coming approximately uh, say 2 divisions. So 2 divided by 4.8 divisions is total time period. We calculate the duty cycle. As you can see here, as the duty cycle has increased, the voltage also has increased from 40 volts to approximately 49 volts. Okay. Now again we measure the speed. Previously it was 300 RPM. Okay. Now it is about 367 or 370 RPM. Okay, so next we'll increase the duty cycle further to about 80% or 90%. 80% or 90%. As you can observe, go on observing here, as the duty cycle is increased further, the T on time is increasing. Okay, T on time is increasing. So this is about approximately about 80% of the duty cycle. So for 80% of the duty cycle, you can again measure the T on time. And previously it was 2.2 divisions or something, now it has increased to about 2.6 divisions of PR. And again, here the voltage which was 49 volts has increased to 52 or 53 volts approximately. And the speed, so according to uh, this, as the duty cycle is increasing, you are observing that in the first two ratings the speed increased from 300 to 370 RPM. Now it will, it is around 400 RPM. Okay, so it is around 400 it's around 400 RPM. So now we will increase the duty cycle, say I am increasing to full 100%. Okay, so what should be the guessing? For, you can just guess how the waveform should be before we display it. So now it is going to full 100%. What should happen to T on? What should happen to T off? How the waveform should come? As you can see, the T off is going. Oh, it's only the T on part. And as you go on increasing to full 100%, you can see. The motor is like uh, total uh, continuously on. Okay, it is P on. So now you can see the voltage. Voltage is approximately 60 volts. Okay, it is approximately 60 volts that we have given across A and A. Okay, that is the 60 volts. And if you measure the speed, it would have reached approximately this. Okay, approximately it is 460 to 470 RPM. Okay, though the rating is 1500 RPM, why it is showing only 460 or 500 RPM? Because we have not given the supply voltage of 230 volts. We are just maintaining it at a voltage of 60, uh, 60 volts across A and A. Okay, so this is the, and you can see that it is completely on. This T on is showing 100% duty cycle. So what is the inference you can draw from here? As we go on increasing the duty cycle from 0 to 100%, then you can see that the T on time increases, keeping the denominator T as same, the T on time goes on increases, so that the voltage across A and A goes on increases, and the speed also goes on increases. Okay, so the, here the thing is, here we have used IGBT as a switch, this instead of IGBT you can also use MOSFET, okay, here with the drain source and gate, you can also use MOSFET for the same circuit, Replace IGBT and put MOSFET at the same terminals. Okay, and you can see the difference that for a given duty cycle, what is the voltage that is appearing across A and B terminal and what is the speed. So you can compare what happens when IGBT switch is used and when a MOSFET switch is used, and you can see the operation wise how they are uh, giving for the same value of the duty cycle. Okay, so this is the experiment. Now, as we go on reducing the duty cycle, if we reduce the duty cycle, we will be getting the T on back. Okay, so you can see that T on and T off. You can see the T on and T off waveform. You can see how, the, uh, how it is uh, when the duty cycle is going on increasing. 